So this video is going to be dedicated specifically to the debate of the blowpipe nerf coming up. So I'm going to give you guys some objective information and also some information from the beta test that I uh, tried out. I did go to the Inferno on the beta world with the blowpipe using a uh, pretty undergeared setup here and rune darts, not even the best darts. And just to show you guys how the new blowpipe looks in the probably the most questioned content related to the blowpipe which is the inferno so you guys can see how that goes by explaining some stuff and yeah just talk about all the commonly um asked questions about the change and how it's going to impact the game and of course the players right so one of the uh, most exaggerated claims that some people make it tends to be the more casual players they seem to think that because of this nerf the blowpipe will be completely useless and uh, it's actually not true because the change is significant, but not so significant to the point that the blowpipe is completely useless. In fact, the blowpipe will actually be still just as useful, pretty much, as it has been. Just slightly, just slightly less useful, honestly. You're still going to be using it for like a lot of slayer tasks, a lot of bossing, and of course the inferno, for sure. You're definitely not going to replace the blowpipe, for the most part. Now, let's talk about a bit more specifics, like the numbers, right? Like, just how big is this change, right? So, if we're gonna just talk about the base stats change-wise, the blowpipe itself is gonna go from 60 accuracy to 30, and the strength bonus range-wise is gonna go from 40 to 25. Now, don't worry, that's not all of it, because darts is also a part of the overall stats. Darts give stats too. And yeah, depending on the type of dart, it'll change how the blowpipe uh, is in terms of damage and accuracy. So, halving its accuracy base doesn't mean that its DPS is halved. So that's not the case, because accuracy is only a part of how much DPS is determined. But anyways, let's talk about the blowpipe and dragon darts, for example. Currently, it's 70 accuracy and 60 strength. But after the update, it's going to go from that to 45 accuracy to 53 strength so it's gonna be a bit less max hits probably like two or so but the accuracy is gonna be significantly reduced right uh basically from 70 45 which is a, a 33 difference so it's fairly sizable but still not so poor to the point that like you're gonna miss because jagex has given us some nice numbers which really shows the difference in different scenarios because accuracy is not really useful if you're fighting things that are low defense right but it matters a lot more when you're fighting something that has high defense so let's look at this chart here to see the numbers all right let's look at blowpipe with adamant darts for example so if you're fighting something with low defense like jack sill you'll see that the dps difference after the nerf is very small adamant is only 14 percent difference and rune and higher is less than 9% difference. So that's, that's uh, fairly, like you, you might not even notice it at that point, right? Less than 10% difference with Addy Darts. But as you move up higher and higher on the defensive side, like Alchemical Hydra, you'll notice that the difference gets a bit wider, right? So in general, the higher the defense, the bigger the difference between current blowpipe and nerf blowpipe, right? So at Hydra, you're getting a 20% difference average between uh, the new blowpipe and the old blowpipe regardless of what armor you wear whether it's void or armadillo and then once you get to like the 360 majors in like the inferno i believe you'll see that uh yeah it, it goes a bit worse as well adamant is 18 percent difference with uh armadillo and 27 percent difference with void so once you get into like the moderate to high defense, Void starts getting severely worse. Whereas low defense, Void and Armadale is um, almost the same difference. But anyways, Jad, this is, from my experience uh, at the Beta Worlds, I noticed the difference massively. Once I got to the Inferno Jads, the blowpipe definitely took a hit. It was super noticeable. Even uh, mathematically, you can see the difference is quite massive even with armadillo with that much accuracy the difference is 28 percent from old blowpipe 
to new blowpipe with adamant darts. And it's still pretty bad even with rune darts and dragon because it's still a 20% difference. So with armado. But yeah, that's I think what they're trying to get at here though is that they don't want the blowpipe to be so good on things that have high defense, right? Jad is a monster with high defense, but unfortunately the blowpipe can still take care of it relatively easily, regardless. So they're trying to make it so that the blowpipe is more so specialized on things that have low to moderate defense, right? Whereas other ranged weapons, I believe that's their goal, is supposed to provide what the blowpipe can't, which is high accuracy on things that have high defense, right? So they definitely want stuff like crossbows and uh, I guess even crystal bows, right? Those type of bows to really excel at those places. Now, they're not really providing any new replacements though for coverage-wise, uh, unfortunately, because honestly, the ACB and the crystal bow right now is just rather lackluster. So maybe in the future, they might introduce some upgrades to those weapons like crystal bows. They said they were thinking about upgrading the crystal bow and the armor. So we might get like a replacement to fill in what the blowpipe can't do no more after the update, which is effectively killing the jads. I definitely had a hard time blowpiping jads. After trying out the blowpipe in beta for the entire Inferno run, I gotta say, it still kicks ass, guys. Just definitely noticeable at jads. And of course, not as good, but it's still really good. Don't even think about replacing your blowpipe or selling it because you're still gonna use it for pretty much more of the same stuff. Now, one of the great things that will come from this nerf is that now Jagex has a lot of room to bring out some new updates. For a long time, uh, when TOB came out, for example, they tried to pitch the idea of best in slot range gloves. Would maybe give you a new max hit, but the problem is it just wouldn't work because if you add an extra damage on top of the current blowpipe, it would just excel even more you know, than it already does. And because it's like a 4 mil item, right? Like You just cannot have such a cheap item dominating the entire game, right? Like, don't get me wrong, we have other bust items like Twisted Bows and Sights, but my my goodness guys, those cost anywhere from 500 mil to a bill, right? And the Blowpipe? Easy contender for DPS, only 4 mil, right? It just was ridiculously unbalanced. But yeah, look forward to some good range updates coming up in the future, man. Definitely gonna see some range gloves, I'm guessing. And yeah, maybe some buffs to some uh, existing range weapons too. And new range weapons, perhaps. In the near future, bro. That's some of the good stuff that can come from this. Another important thing I want to address is that the darts that are adamant and below are severely nerfed more than rune darts and dragon. Rune darts and dragon is getting nerfed a lot less relative. So what I do see in the future is that the meta is going to really prioritize towards using rune darts and higher for your blowpipe. Just because... Adamant Darts is getting a 15 range strength nerf, which is like at least 3 to 4 damage, whereas Rune and Dragon is only getting a nerf of maybe about 2 damage. So yeah, it's quite significant. The last thing I will talk about is, of course, how viable is the Inferno after the update. And I'll tell you, it's definitely doable. Not much has changed. I'd say overall it's like 15% harder. But if you have a Tebow, honestly, you might not even notice it that bad, really. Because uh, the biggest issues are things like Majors and Jads. Well, hey, you have a Tebow, it doesn't change anything for you. But for the rest of us non Tebow guys, it'll be, I'd say, about 15% harder. So in practical terms, that just means you may have to do one or two more attempts instead because of that you know, difficulty barrier increase. But, as you can see, I went in with pretty uh, bad gear. Definitely gear that I would not recommend people bring. I recommend you bring much better stuff. And I was able to do it, of course, by my experience. But really, guys, if you're serious about going for the Inferno, I expect you to be able to afford at least a 100 to 200 mil setup. I mean, it's the most difficult content in the game, guys, right? There's no excuse to not be able to fund yourself to that point for something, you know, this much of an achievement, right? I expect you to have like full armor though, a Kodai wand, an SGS, right? Those kind of things. I really expect you to have those. And if you do, trust me, it will not feel as bad as it is now. 
really, it, it really won't. And this video kind of is proof of that, right? I think I've covered everything about the blowpipe topic, but if I do miss anything important that you think is important, ask away in the comments, I'll try to answer it. And I usually don't make these type of videos. I usually do make progress videos for my account, but I have some ideas coming up, not series related, that is more so guides focus. I do want to work on some videos of how to get people into PVM, you know, showing them the ropes, like a bossing roadmap, like how to get started, stuff like that. I want to make like a sort of PVM encyclopedia playlist. I have this idea I've thought about a long time and I've kind of really figured it out this last week. So in the future, expect something of that sort. If you guys are trying to get into PVM, I think I'll have some good videos for you guys to help you do so. Thank you guys for watching today's video. If you found this video to be enjoyable, consider giving it a like. We also have a friends chat. Feel free to join that if you want to hang out. And also consider subscribing and ringing the bell. That way you will get all video notifications. And if you have Amazon Prime, feel free to subscribe on twitch.tv slash ricecup and you can financially support me for free through Amazon Prime. Anyways, thanks for watching. See you guys later.